what is up guys? <clears throat> Just to make sure that she doesn't watch this video. I have quite the episode of Game of the Week for you guys this week. Is this a <laughs> monster replays? One at tier eight, one at tier ten. And yes, you heard me right. This is Games of the Week. There's two of them this week, and it's going to be a fabulous, fantastic, and great all at the same time. First up, the CS52 lease on mines. Real quick, like, let me just do something that's really loud in my ear. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're just gonna miss like one bounce shots. There we go. My sounds weren't uh, weren't ready. Obviously we're shitting on, on tier sixes, but this is quite the game on mines. I literally just play it to almost perfection. But currently we're just gonna just gonna destroy this in two Y. One of the dumbest tanks that's ever been put into the game. Been playing the M3Y and realized it's actually uh, probably the best tank in the entire tree. It is the only tank that you can use the high alpha gun to great success. So, as the high alpha gun has little better stats than some tier 8 premiums. Which is crazy because, you know, tier 8 premiums have become so brokenly overpowered, as you will see with this game in the CS52 lease. I'm driving towards the cap circle, as you can tell, this is an encounter battle. So they're not going to be able to cap really quickly, but they're literally sitting ducks on the cap circle, so I'm just going to. Not stop to shoot at the Skoda. I'm just gonna wait on him to get to cover because, you know, it can't be a game of the week without something going wrong. But uh, I do believe that both game of the week replays this week are actually wins, which is a first in like a month. Which is great. But hey, can't win them all. I, mean, I guess you can. They're all certainly somewhat winnable. But, uh. Yeah. You see, right now we're only up by a thousand hit points and uh, two kills. So it's still a pretty close game. It's still winnable for the enemy team. However, we have taken the hill and we have taken most of the map control. And now it's just time to put the 2600 dpm that this tier 8 polish premium tier 8 medium tank jesus christ that's a long title and to work with its brilliant armor good gun handling great dpm pretty decent pen uh it's not terrible let's see how much is the pen on this tank i can't see it for some reason 208 but, okay, no, the pin's not great, actually. But it's usable, it's usable pin on a medium at tier 8. There's some tier 10 mediums that have slightly better penetration values. We're just gonna go to town on this Churchill for a second. And we spot the Tigar out in the open. So we're going to try and get into a position to where we can just uh, farm him hold down. I over pushed there, that was it originally. Ended up not being hold down. I believe I'm going to get shot by the M2. Yes. Don't take any damage from the Tiger because most people who play Tigers are normally a pretty new players. I have no idea about this guy. He seems like he's not exactly knowledgeable about how to play the game, but then again, he was just side scraping, so who knows? Maybe he's not a very good Tiger player. Uh, anyway, we're down to 400 hit points, which is really unfortunate. I'm trying to talk this T29 into pushing into the Tiger, and it's, um, 
It's not going well so far. As you can see, the game has uh, not gotten any more out of control for the enemy team. It's literally the exact same deficit, <laughs> deficit that it's been pretty much the entire game. It's now 9-7, to seven, and they're still down by about 1,000 hit points. Still very bit winnable for them, but they do have to actually, I don't know, try to win the game. Um, and not just sit in a corner. We're going to miss that shot on the move, but we're going to move into a position to where we can shoot at the TVP VDU and the Tiger 1 at the same time. Kill the Tiger 1, switch our attention over to the TVP VTU. Which I do not believe that we get another shot of damage in quite yet. I believe he stays alive at the end of the game. But now we're sitting on uh, 4,000 combined damage. Man, a tier 8 game on mines. In one of the most overpowered tier 8 premium tanks, but I don't want to talk about that part. <sighs> you ask most good players, they pretty much have the same thing to say about this tank. It's it's really good. Uh, but we do spot a Yagapamfa here. And uh, put one shot into him, bringing our damage total up to 4,300. Ram him, shoot him, 4,700. TBP VDU is still alive on full health. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna drive in there and try to get to 5k. Can we do it? Do it, Anakin. And with that high roll, yeah, yeah, we fucking can. And uh, at this point, I was in team speak. This was at, like, I think this was right after I released game of the week last week. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. And we are back this time in the SB2 on Redshire, and we are joined by Dunder. And the legend of Airfield himself, Mikey. Uh, as you can see, we're doing a bit of a Chinese troll strategy. Where we all played Chinese tanks. Dunder goes with the 113. I go with the 114. And Mike is in the 121B. One, one Now, I, I do have to warn you, what you are about to witness is absolutely disgusting. Just not that shot. Um, it's basically a blatant disregard of playing with platoon mates. Um, you see, my platoon mates are, uh, are in one very bad tank and one half-decent tank. And the tank I am playing is pretty much completely broken. So our first two shots don't hit in this game, but we're uh, we're gonna bounce back. Just um, just trust me, trust me, trust trust in me. For now, we will return the favor. Here comes the EBR. We're going to get sniped out by Dunder. Now, as you can see, we have a uh, M454 and a Kronvong in the castle with us. So I'm going to push through here and I'm going to uh, wait for this M60 to get spotted. And when this M60 gets spotted, I'm not going to shoot him because it's way too late to do that. Sturve has already killed Mikey. It is literally two minutes into the game. And uh, we're farming. Already up to 600 damage. Wow, crazy, right? Just wait, it gets better. Up to 1,000, two shots fired. Outstanding. Or two shots of damage for 1,000. Which is uh, pretty bad, honestly. But it's... Uh, it's A-OK -okay for me. Now we're just trying to find an angle on a Leo. Do you notice the Kron is moving forward? I don't know when I notice it, but I do eventually notice it. I reload, see Dunder pushing, see the Kron pushing, and I'm like, ha ha, yes, I like to see it. Now you may be thinking to yourself, you have six, or you have a thousand damage, and there's 
four tanks already dead. Again. It get it gets better as we go here. Seven hundred damage into the E4. E4 is still playing up high. Super cocky like. And Dunder's gonna kill him. Mando's the heavy flank has completely fallen apart at this point, but Leo is um, coming out to drag me. I'm just trying to find some damage at this point, just to try and salvage this game, because it looks like it's definitely going to be a really quick win, and then I uh, look up the hit points, and I'm like, ooh. They still have, like, all of their health. Uh, obviously, I can't see the health on the other flank, but, uh, yeah, they actually still had most of their health. Great shot on the Leo there. That's just why this tank is so good. Uh, the terror to version is like negligible that shot does not hit i'm still confused as to uh how i figured uh i pre that pretty well but uh i guess not so that sucks but up to 2400 damage minus 11. see a 140 pushing through the river on the ridge area map which is uh, always actually a pretty decent strategy. So we're going to push our fat-ass Chinese tank destroyer up the top of the hill. We're going to try and uh, get, a bit of, get a bit of damage in real quick. A little Kron. Yep. That just happened. As you can see, I'm firing only... Gold rounds, because obviously, what else would you fire out of this tank? Uh, this is a, a reward hey, tank, so like, why would you not fire only bearing rounds? These are the two worst shots of the game. Both probably should have gone through. Um, one was poorly aimed, the other should have just pinned, and I'm really quite mad that it did not but we're gonna ammo rack the object 268 version for now you see the 140 pushing towards us so we're going to wait aim and fire there we go wait aim fire we're up to 5,000 damage and you thought this game would be bad ha <laughs> funny oh there he is goodbye 140 Make that 54, 100 damage. Ram the light tank just for not spotting that guy and making me go and do it. Um, and our team just sits there, really passively, which is great for me, terrible for them. I really thought I'd have a shot at the E100 right here. Uh, that is not the case, I did not. I was also um, half drunk, let's put it that way. Oh, look, a bridge. What bridge? Um, just trying to find the shot on the E100 here. Still looking for it. Still looking for it. Still look found it, but I got spotted by the E100, which is quite weird. This tank has very good camo. For a uh, fat ass. Chinese kind of super heavy tank destroyer with no armor. We're gonna aim one and miss at the E100. That probably would have gone through his turret if I aimed a little better. However, we're gonna have to kill that stove if we want to do any more damage in this game. So I start pushing up the hill. What is going to happen? Is the stove going to stay there? Is he going to move? Is the E100 going to fall back? Is the 705 just going to turn and dirt me for the rest of my hit points? Well, actually none of that's going to happen. Well, I guess one of those things is going to happen. As we spot the stove running away. Now, he's uh, played his hand, um, obviously. And I regret to say, it was the wrong decision. Um, unfortunately, the stupid ass light tank hit him for uh, 400 damage, so um, 
I didn't really get the the good damage out of that one. But I do put one into the back of the E100 and right now I'm salivating in the hope and prayer that I can finally break my damage record that I set four years ago. And with that shot, I do. Thank the Lord. Yes, my damage record in this game was only 7,300 until now. Now we're just gonna full plush this here guy, but he's gonna die before I get there. So I can't quite get that extra damage in at the end of the game, but who cares? Dude, that was 8.1 thousand damage. I'll see you guys for the post game stats. And we are back. Oh, get the stretch in. I completed uh, three TD missions. Three TD missions um, on Saturday. But first, my first day stinker in the CS52 release was a high caliber for 5,300. Or, yeah. 5,300 combined, four kills. In a tier 6 game on mines, but still pretty pretty decent as a uh, as yeah we pretty much uh, just carried that game with a little bit of help from the E25 and a couple of other tanks, but yeah, nobody else was really able to get very much damage on, and then we're sitting here with 5K. So um, pin ratio is not great, hit ratio is not that great either. But it's 5,000 damage, so you really don't care when you make 180,000 credits profit. And get a nice tinker out of it. For 1,400 base XP. Outstanding. On to the good game, though. Which isn't I high caliber because... Or... Er, which isn't a ace tanker because, you know... TD and uh, not spotting for my own damage. But obviously we're top on team. Uh, the next... Two tanks couldn't match me either. As, uh, yeah. Without me being alive at the end of that game, I don't know that we win it. Um, did 5,000 damage from over 300 meters. Uh, obviously, my accuracy is not good. So, uh... If I hit more shots, I probably would have gotten a tank sniper out of this game, but uh, I didn't. Anyway, we make a 85,000 credit profit, even firing all premium and using food, so can't be too mad about this. Uh, but it is only 1,100 base, so I still have not aced the 114 SP2. Did, however, complete huge caliber TD mission. I believe this was for the... the uh, T55A. Or perhaps it wasn't. But anyway, thank you guys uh, for watching. Um, this is um, definitely an, an insane video. It's the by far the best game of the week I've had. So, yeah. 13,000 damage in two games. Enjoy it. And, uh, go do it for yourself. Um, the game took eight minutes. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. My name has been Cove, and you have been watching World of Tanks, and I'm leaving now. Good, goodbye.